everyone and welcome back to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Uh, today I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be a video of Copic coloring of the stamp set Showers and Flowers uh, by Simon Says Stamp. Um, this is a really cute stamp set. It's got uh, three uh, large Im images in it, some filler images, as well as uh, several sentiments in it. So I decided to stamp off each one of these uh, several times and go ahead and color them all up at once and then I will come back and make uh, cards with them. I, I did this um, back in February I think um, I took a stamp set and colored several images and, and, and then made cards with them. So it's kind of kind of easier to do all my coloring at once and then come back and make cards than it is to color an image, make a card, color an image, make a card. Um, so that worked out really well before so I just I think I'll continue to to do it this way and then I can uh, have a line of videos where you can refer to for uh, Copic coloring only if you want to see uh, more Copic coloring videos. Um, I will have all the colors that I used. I do show them here um, in the video but of course it is sped up because you know, it does take a little bit to Copic Color, um, but I do, will list them all um, on my blog. And you see I was a little heavy-handed here and, and had some bleeding issues, so I just kept taking my colorless blender and, and going in and pushing that color back in and down into the fibers. I wasn't real concerned about where I was setting my cap and, and um, getting a little bit of ink there because I'll probably just cut the image out and... Um, you know, not worry about it, or I'll, you know, put a cinnamon or something there. Um, so I wasn't real worried about that. But um, I did use my colorless blender to push that blue back into the lines. Like I said I was a little heavy handed and um, got a little much ink in there and, and it bled out a little bit. But that was easy enough to fix. Uh, now I'm just going in, doing some flicking motions on my little duck here. And, um, getting him colored in. I'm going to use a really light yellow so his, uh, his belly is uh, real light and gives that good highlight on his belly. Um, my flicks didn't give as much texture to him as I wanted. Um, oh, here I am going back in again and doing some cleanup. So I'm going to take some blender solution on a very textured little piece of rag and just blot it over it and that'll give um, the little duck some more texture. And it did cause a little bit more bleeding outside the lines but um, I'm going to let it dry real good um, and then I'll come back in with my colorless blender again and uh, clean up those edges. So I'm just giving him some pretty little pink boots. I'm making, making him very colorful but still trying to keep it um, a pretty simple color palette. You, you don't want to introduce you know too many colors and and make it too busy. Um, so I'm going to try and, and limit it to um, you know the bright blue and the and the pink. And um, I'm going to repeat the colors that I used on his bill on his hat. But I'm just going to add some more of the of the mid tone just to make it a little bit more orangey where his bill is a little bit. Uh, darker. So not to, just not to introduce too many colors. And then I'm just going to use some of my toner grays to um, go over the umbrella handle. And um, after I color this one, I'll show you my other one that it's uh, colored as slightly different, basically using the same colors, but just um, using more or less of the um, different shades and so it makes it a little bit different. I'm taking my Uniball uh, white Signo uh, pen and uh, just adding highlights and then quickly saw the the, uh, the other little duckling there. Um, and here I'm just going to take my grays and uh, basically just kind of have a couple of white rabbits and you do uh, white by shading with gray and so just using a few little gray markers and just some flicks to go in and put the shadows in. I didn't really do anything with the tail because um, in one of the recent kits that I got with 
was some little bitty um, pom-pom balls and I think I'm just going to put one of those little pom-pom balls um, on his tail. I uh, thought that would be really cute. Uh, so I don't, you won't see me really do anything with his, with his tail. So just um, going through all my grays and then I'm going to take my colorless blender to help uh, blend it back to or out to white and um, you see it looks dark all over but that's just because the paper is wet once it dries um, then it, it'll be uh, very light colored and again going back over and uh, blending out to white and just darkening up his nose and his eye I think I'll show that again later you saw me wearing a sweater still is kinda cold here in North Texas on some days um, it's been a very cool spring for us so I'm just making some red boots here some red galoshes I uh, wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the spots on the boots um, they're they're pretty small to try and color around them so you know I thought well I, I could you know put a color over the top you know go in with a darker red or something um, but then I decided to use my Signo Uniball white gel pen and and I'm just gonna do white spots you know I've discovered that it's very hard to talk about coloring for um, almost 11 minutes uh, straight you kinda just kinda run out of things to, to say I think guess that's why Kelly Latavola tells stories uh, while you're watching her Copic color or some people just turn on music I tend to don't like though um, when I'm watching a, a coloring video to uh, learn the techniques I, I typically don't like the the music um, so that's why I'd, I try not to do that too much on my channel um, but I'm not real sure if I've got interesting enough stories like uh, Kelly has um, she's got a young child so she has a lot of cute stories uh, to tell with her child and stuff so I I enjoy watching uh, Kelly Latabola color she's a great colorist um, and she has some uh, some really great uh, stories to tell while you're watching her coloring so uh, let me know what everybody's interested in if you just want explanation on the coloring or um, if you like music while you watch color um, or if you want story time as as Kelly calls it but if you do um, like to watch how different people color uh, Kelly is a Kelly Latavola is a great one to uh, watch if you don't already watch her um, I'm a big fan of hers um, I I do coloring um, multiple different met methods I do uh, light out to dark and then back to light again I do just dark to light sometimes you know it kinda all depends on uh, the size of the space that I'm, I'm coloring if it's really small I'll do dark to light if it's a big space and I'm I'm really trying to preserve a, a highlight I'll, I'll do light to dark and then back to light again um, so I'm kinda all over the board on my method of coloring um, a lot of people are just one way or the other um, but I kinda do it as to um, the area that I'm coloring and also the color that I'm using because red has a tendency to bleed a lot so I usually do dark to light on red and um, other colors that don't um, I'll use more of the light to dark to light uh, method of coloring but um, and I'm typical unless it's a, a scene kind of um, image I don't really worry about light source I kinda just look at it as doing like a general light source um, from you know center um, like these little images I'm just doing like a center kinda light source thing um, if I've got a scene then I'll try to um, you know use a different kind of light source depending on the direction the image is looking or if I've got a sun or something um, in my scene then I'll use um, a directional light source otherwise I just kinda do a um, 
you know, a head-on kind of light source, and I think it gives a really pretty uh, result. Um, but I'm always learning and changing and and uh, refining uh, my my coloring. So I hope this helps you in some little way. Um, this is um, all my images that I had to color for this stamp set. And at the, these little uh, boots came out of a different stamp set. But I'll be making cards with all these soon, so stay tuned for those. And thanks for watching.